All right, so then we have purge, Middle East, and containment. I don't know if it's going to affect our setup, but I generally prefer Middle East out of those. I yeah, I I would always do that. Okay. Um, so I haven't been. I don't have a ton of experience. I know people have been talking about the sort of alternate Chinese setup. Um, I would just prefer to go. Oh, I mean, I, I would choose to go four four two. Uh, yeah, we, we've got Dugal and Suez. I think they can both be played, and um, I'd consider containment too. You consider headline containment? Yeah, it's five ops. Hold purge. It's, it's four VP. I mean, unless he play, unless he headlines Nasser. Yeah, the, I mean, the other option, like, Middle East is really good right now, and containment would be great next turn. Like, we could, we could hold containment, play for Purge for four ops, and play containment next turn, and then, you know, get Middle East the, the 4 VP right away. Um, okay, so are we going to go four four two either way? I think four, I guess we, if, if we're going to play containment, we're on three. But if, I generally, I mean, I generally like Middle East, and I, I think Anthony does too. Yeah, I just think yeah. with that many. I think with that many ops, we'll be able to. I think we've got a very good chance to score it for domination and get the ops with that many. Well, I mean, you, gotta, you do have a few challenges. I mean, you, um, you know, De Gaulle and Suez have to have some level of repair when you play them, if that's what your plan is. And mm -hmm. they get the full ops. And Cambridge can't be played until after Middle East. True. You got NORAD for four, you got Cambridge for three. Well, not Cambridge, but you got Formosa for three. Yeah. So your plan would be to hold, hold Red Scare then? Is that the, would be the plan with this hand? Yes. Suez is going to go to Lebanon and Egypt. I, I would still lean towards playing Middle East and um, saving for came, containment for turn two. That would be be playing Red Scare for the four ops. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think I would like that too. I, I just, I think it would also be nice because we have, I mean, we could play both of these, but we could also, I mean, fight for the space track early as well if we get Middle East out of the way and one of the card, one of the card would get spaced. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a lot of potential VP between the you know being first on the space track and 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 banking mid east with no presence. Yeah, let's. I mean, let's let's go with that. Just we gotta choose here. Um, I mean, they could have answered, but. So is it Space Suez, hold the golf for blockade? Yes. Okay. And Cambridge is free ops. And then if we don't get blockade, the plan is to play the Gaulle event first yes. on AR6? Yeah, that's the way I would do it. Okay. Yeah, because we Space Suez... You know, we'll either have to hold the goal or play it, so there's no point in going into France this turn. Yeah, so I guess, I mean, that is a potential downside, is we would not, I mean, So we have number of volts. So let's see what they do. Um, I'm probably going to take Thailand, is my guess. Unless if he doesn't score Asia right away. Correct. Yeah, they could they could secure Asia right away. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a couple options here. I mean, a very aggressive option that I don't... I mean, it's going to use our four up right away. But 
I would play Red Scare to Pakistan and South Korea and just chance the Korean War to fight for being dominated here. Um, you know, another option is to just coup Laos Cambodia or. Um, If we give up on Asia, we sort of have to go for Europe, and maybe we can play the goal right away and just hold Suez for blockade and maybe not be as aggressive on space. Um, but, you know, I, I think I would not want to let them come out with a neutral Europe and an Asian domination here. So I think we've got to choose one or another. Yeah, I, I think actually the goal early and hold Suez is probably better. Okay. I'm, and we sure, I'm not sure about, I, I don't like going into South Korea though. Okay. What do you, what do you think, Anthony? Yeah, I, I, I concur with that. I, I'd rather take uh, France early and uh, live with the pain of losing Asia here. Well, okay. I'd go, so, I'd go Pakistan right now. You go Pakistan right now? Yeah, DEFCON 5. Right, because you, you get the coup back, right? So he coups you before you can coup it back. Yeah, I just, I don't. We got to do a coup someplace anyway. You could go Formosa or something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess it's better than Cambridge. Okay. And then assuming they don't score, we're going to go for India and then try to fight for Europe as well. Right. But he may, he may just do a coup here. If he doesn't score here, good chance he doesn't have Asia. Yeah, I guess we don't need to go India until they go Burma. I'd like to get one into India just in case there's, you know, indo pak war or something, but or a coup. I think we would have seen Asia scoring by now if he had it. Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, so they're thinking, what are they thinking? Probably about whether to take the coup or not. Probably, yeah. Um, I mean, they also might just be trying to maximize their the Vietnam revolts and, you know, maybe determining how to spread some, like a one-op into Burma and Malaysia or something. And... Maybe they're thinking about going to space early. All right, so oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there was that. What is that there? Um, well, I guess we that makes it to goal time, right? You got you got to step into France for something. Yeah, I mean, and. If we're going to play De Gaulle, you got to do it now, right? Yeah. Probably just takes Italy <clears throat> with a two. I think uh, Q Thailand's next on the table. With Red Scare, or are you going to, uh, yeah, Red Scare, because we're holding containment. You might, as, you might as well take a shot. Yeah. Yeah. So odds are five or six. Five or 30. six, yeah. And even if you get a five, you'll probably flip it, but still. 
I would I would trade a red scare for a China card though for sure. Yeah, that was super very high risk move there. I mean if they fail on the Italy coup and we get the coup Thailand back, that's Italy was at four. That's that's a bold decision, I feel like. So assuming, yeah, assuming they take Italy, we could Thailand, if they, I guess they could play duck cover, or, okay, let's see. All right, well, um, Q Thailand stuff? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think we can stop Europe, Dom, here, so we can only delay it. Yeah. Not bad. Enough. I mean, honestly, here, I would I would like a strong, um, a strong AR six play, and I don't I don't always worry too much about having a red card to discard the blockade on turn one. Like it's a lot of times people will hold it for turn two anyways. Um, it's not the the end of the world. I I wouldn't be opposed to spacing Suez first and then just like holding like holding containment and discarding the blockade if necessary. Um, because then that would give us a strong air six as well. I think that definitely could make sense. Um, let's see. Let's see what they're doing there. So, do either of you think that they have Europe scoring this turn? Because we could we could disrupt it now if they if they cover Thailand. It's already uh, AR four. Yeah. Um, kind of a waste. They don't have it. I'm sorry. It, it's a wasted effort on our part to attack Europe if they don't have Europe scoring. I, I think they most likely don't have it. But if they do have it. We could stop at this turn now because of the role in Thailand. Yes, yeah, so they play their four, and then we do, I guess, France and Canada. Uh, France and poke uh, Italy. Yeah, but then it's for their AR5, if they, Italy, like say two Italy, two Greece or something. Oh, that'd be another four. Oh, I see another three. You could do it three. Well, they can't do it. Well, they could do one Italy, and then we could poke it again. But if they, I mean, they do have the China card. If they, if they really needed to score it, they could just use the China. Okay, I think I think the spacing is probably better then. You don't want to take Korea right now. Hmm. Yeah, we could. Oh, he just played Korea War. Oh yes, you take Korea right after you place Korea War. We can we can space on AR five. All right, are we doing Cambridge five? Or are we covering up France with NORAD as well? Uh, Cambridge Cambridge five. NORAD would only save us a point, right? It would, but I mean, well, I guess the thing that I'm thinking is, it would it would save us a point, but we're going to cover it by the end of the turn, anyways, right? 
we we are you wanted a strong ar6 so what are you going to leave to do that with i mean it wow. wouldn't be that strong it would be cambridge 5 but if we if we cambridge 5 now and our plan for the end of the turn is to cover france we still only have two out of norad anyway right right but, so i feel like we might as well cover it now because then if they do score or europe it's one extra point okay i mean I'm, i i don't think it's that big but um it doesn't matter what, what do you think michael Came I'm, fine with, uh, I'm fine with norad okay sounds good We'll find out if they've got Europe or not. I don't think they have Asia because they didn't score it earlier when they could have. Right, they had a perfect opportunity. I don't think so either. Um, and unless they've got five-year plan, they still need to get presence in the Mideast. Well, only, only for, I mean, they can do it next turn because we already scored it. Right, right. I, it's just one more action they need to take. Yeah. Another another thing we might consider. Um, how many do they have? One, two, three, four. One, two. Three. Uh, that wouldn't be enough. I was thinking we could take India containment theoretically, but on our AR six and have domination. But we're still a country short, so that that'd be stupid. And I think we really want containment for for next turn. I mean, if he doesn't put another one in Italy, I I think our AR six play should be to break Italy. He'll probably he'll probably, he'll probably cover it though. I can't, yeah. I can't imagine with two ARs they're not going to. Yeah, he's going to cover Italy. He's going to cover Thailand. Maybe thinking about whether he needs to do it now or space now. I mean, he wants to get a space in also, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, he could have IP war, too. I mean, I wouldn't. it'd be good to get at least one in India. Yeah, I'm just not sure we're going to have the um, the ops to make a strong AR6 play here. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't, I definitely don't like poking Thailand, even if they leave it unprotected. I mean, just because if we don't do anything, DEFCON's going to four next turn. I guess, I guess that stops them from killing Pakistan. I'm surprised we've already taken nine minutes on this turn or eight eight minutes twenty seconds. Doesn't feel like no. it doesn't feel like it was that slow. No. no. They did take more time though. Yeah, we so we're we're fine on time, but just I'm just surprised we're we're taking longer than what I thought. Yeah, I'm not sure how, how you say it. Is it Cassius? Is that um how to pronounce that? But he was telling me that the time just flies by. You can't believe how fast it goes. Hmm. He's done some of these before and it doesn't make sense. I mean, when I'm when I'm playing by myself, there are a lot of action rounds that I, I think for a while, but there are also a lot of action rounds that I would insta play something. Okay. All right. Um, space. So space to us. Yeah, space to us. I think we're we're clear now. Um, failure. Okay. So it's not as critical to get to Indy if they don't go to Burma. Well, it is going to be DEFCON 4. Oh, that's a good point. So, I mean, I personally, if they don't overprotect Italy, I think we just break it. I mean, so they got nothing here. They're playing CIA. Um, Do we want DEFCON at four or do we want it at three at the beginning of next turn? I'm, I, think I'm thinking, we want it at four. 
I think four is okay because we're going to have a fairly good hand if we're if we're headlining containment. So I we are. I mean, the thing is, what are like if we leave it at four and they coup Pakistan? What are we going to coup back? I mean, what's the what's the point? They're just going to be able to coup Panama or something. Yeah, but I'm I don't know. I I think I'd rather it at four. So if you're going to leave it at four, I think this need this point needs to go to India right now. No, I think Iraq. Iraq. No, I guess not Iraq. No, they can't. They're gonna. I guess they're gonna go one Syria. You think? Or, no, they're gonna go one Italy. They're gonna go one Italy. I think. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna have to go one Italy. So. You know what? Maybe we want it at three. Then we could break Thailand because he can't take he can't overprotect Italy and Thailand. Okay, I like that. So we just we coup Iraq then. Yeah, if you coup Iraq, then we break either Italy or Thailand, whichever one he doesn't cover. That sounds good to me. Okay. And then Pakistan's safe too. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Yes. Oh, got him out of there. <laughs> wow. Good roll. <laughs> that was a brilliant decision to coup. <laughs> <laughs> The, you know, the bad news is he's just, wait, 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 the bad uh, news, yeah, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, the, the, he's just going to cover it, and we've got no place to coup back next turn at DEFCON 3. So breaking it really is not going to do us any good, I don't think. We're just, we're just going to be losing an op by breaking it, I think. Because you, you took him out of the only battleground we can coup. Yeah, we, we actually got too good a roll. Okay. Um, <laughs> you see, you see what I'm saying? I do. Um, so, I mean, I think we just go ops. You could either go to Canada. You could start going to India. We, we could go to Canada. And we, I mean, we go to Canada. We could even theoretically consider headlining Europe scoring and holding containment. Yeah, you could go. Draw it. You could still put one in Italy. And then when he coos, well, I guess he won't coo. He's not going to coo on, on, on AR1 if he doesn't need to. If we, if we create any kind of problem for him, he won't coo. So yeah, it yeah. could be either to Canada or India, or you could go, I don't know, even Malaysia. What about uh, one, one India, one Costa Rica? I, I could see that as well. Um, yeah, I like two Canada. I think, I think India, Canada, one. because we're, we're fine in Asia, we're going to get to India first. There's no IP war to worry about. Well, I mean, Decal could get him. Oh, that's get him true. I guess, I guess he wouldn't probably use it that way, but he could. Well, he could put one Burma, but even if we put two into India, he's still, well, still going to be there. They wouldn't decal turn one because, and then just because that would give, it would give us the BG coup then. Yeah, that would give us the BG coup, which we don't have now. Okay, let's let's do Canada then. All right. Uh, we didn't draw Europe. We could have dumped it in the headline if we had Europe. Yeah. Yeah, containment's a great card for this hand, though. It is. It's always the annoying thing of captured Nazi, which you just never want to play for the ops and then yeah. containment. Um, but, you know. Fidel can go to, to blockade. This is a great containment hand. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. so Might still play Nazi for event later on anyway, depending upon how it goes, but, but still, uh, containment should be the headline. Or if we're to, if they happen to get to space first and we're fighting like really hard and I mean because there's nothing in this hand going to space really, um, I guess CIA is gone so yeah we don't want to play Fidel. Um, okay yeah yeah I guess Fidel's the the discard to blockade or the hold card. Well I mean you could do Romania if you had to uh, get to space first, but I'd probably just eat the extra op on on Nazi and play that yeah, if we get a chance. Just play, just play the Nazis. So uh, you think he's going? He's going to have to go to Iran now. Um, yeah. He gave us a target in, in Egypt, so. So I think if they coup Iran, we if we need to repair it, we repair it. Um, it's going to take minimum three ops, and then we make sure we fight for Africa. Okay. 
Well, that's fortunate. So do we want to start pushing into Africa this turn? Right now, I mean? Yeah, I mean, there's the... That's my initial thought. Like, the super aggressive play is to just immediately slam four ops, three into India, one into Indonesia, and if they have Aza scoring, I guess they get a five-year plan as well. Um, but, you know, make them, make them fight to not get dominated in Asia if they have it. Um, but I think that's a very aggressive play. The better long-term one would probably be Africa. Yeah, so... so I, like, I like preserving I'll, some, some firepower for the, the second half of the turn, so um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't play your biggest one right now. Yeah, so... Um, well, well, there's there's Algeria, there's Angola, there's Lebanon that we'd all want to get to as soon as possible. All right. I, I, I only think we need one in Algeria because we're going to be able to realign them if we want to, and I just don't like to get like blocked out of it. Um, we could we could play a like, special relationship for one Algeria, one Angola, one Lebanon. Yeah, I think I like Lebanon one better than Algeria two. Okay. Yeah. So if he has decal, you probably see it here. Okay, yeah. So what, what, what was his headline in his AR1 card? Nasser. Nasser and then Olympic. Okay, all right, I got him. So this turn, I'd like to get Panama a little more fortified. I definitely want to get to Zaire if possible. Well, he's uh, going to go deco or Destyle right now if he's got either one. Yeah. Um... Got to go to India as soon as he goes Burma. Yeah, Comic Con's actually good to hold in case he he slams into Korea or, or something like that. There we go. Yeah, there's Deco. So oh, that's bad. Um, I think it's got to be Comic Con three to India, one to Angola. Yeah, I agree. Unfortunately. Yep. That is, we're dead in Europe for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess they have the meds anyways, but. So well, we might as well play Romanian abdication sooner. Well, I guess as soon as they take domination, then we can play it. I don't know if we mm -hmm. want to give them it before that. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen, haven't seen reds yet, so um, there's some advantage to playing it early. But then you just make yeah. it easier on him in terms of domination. Yeah, he's got plenty of, plenty of influence for D-style, too, if they've got it. I think if they don't do anything too threatening, like if they just score, well... So... Well, I think we want to get the Nazis out as soon as possible. Yes, I, I was going to say, if they don't do anything we need to respond to, I think we should play Nazis. Um, and the other option would be to play, like, Indonesia, Philippines, like, just take Asia domination. But they still have five, could have five-year plan. We haven't seen it. So that's, again, probably Nazis is a better long-term. Yeah, I'm surprised they went to Panama instead of Iran on their AR-1 coup. Uh, I'm well, I mean... Uh, I'm afraid it suggests D-style. See, my, my thoughts are maybe they're just Opalite and they w wanted to use the two ops. And I mean, an isolated battleground with one influence is, I mean, they got to hit, what, a six to flip Iran and we can just refill it anyways. Uh, that's that's true. That's a good point. That could be the, could be it as well. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking if they could, you know, if they hit Iran, that would be great for them. Then they get back into Iraq. Mm-hmm. Mideast is unscored. But no, maybe no, they we have maybe, maybe they don't have uh, any playable three or four. So looking at what's left, they've got D-Style, Warsaw, and those are the only two red um, three or fours. The neutral, the neutral fours are gone too. Yeah, there's 
What about NATO? Oh, uh, NATO's not a prerequisite yet, right? So you can play NATO for oh, free. That's true. That's true. And e- EU is not that bad either. Mm-hmm. And in fact, that's where we see now. So I'm thinking Poland, East Germany, and I guess. I think Yugoslavia. I mean, I don't know. It, I'm not sure it makes a difference. Yeah, I mean. We're going to play Romanian abdication, so I think. You know, if he's got independent reds, it's going to be useful there. Even though I, w- I think he would have played independent reds already if he had it. I would I would have done that over Olympic Games. Yes. Although, I've made dumb mistakes like that before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, so Romania is now f- a f- free play. So, so the danger now is, is he going to flip Pakistan with the China card? Yeah, so I think we could play Romanian and play one Pakistan, one Indonesia, and then we we have Asia Dom. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I like that. That's good. Yeah, force. Make it easy to stop it, but let them let them work for it. I mean, he just plows into South Korea. He's, he's going to get it. Yeah, we could put up a fight there still, though. I mean, depending on what he's got, it, it would take him... He would yeah, need a lot of free ops to, to, to actually control it. Yeah, even if they go Afghanistan, Burma, we can still just play defectors to Philippines, Malaysia. So I don't get to Libya. I, I, I definitely I want to get an op in Tunisia by the end of the turn. So we're threatening to take Libya. Um, I'd like to get one Costa Rica or one Panama. I know people have different opinions. Um, maybe even if we have enough ops, if we have two ops to spare, maybe one each. Um, if we just have a lone op to, to spare at the end of the turn and nothing to break. Um, well, you played in a space Fidel, though. I mean, we don't have a lot of ops left. I yeah, think, I yeah. Think you, I think you hold Fidel. You hold Fidel. That's fine. That's so our that blockade for Nazis. The uh, Nazis the an event, so you only have five ops left to play. Yes. So I mean, I think one Tunisia. I don't know how if we're going to have to fight super hard in Asia or what they're going to do. Um, but yeah, I think one Tunisia, at least one to protect Panama, and then we have three ops to sort of do with the situation. Necessitates. I don't know about fighting hard, but he's certainly, you know, for one op, he takes another country in, in Asia. So I'm, I'm almost certain we're going to see that. Mm-hmm. So are, are we actually going to be able to push on Asia domination or should we just score the Nazis? I, I think we score the Nazis. I think we're, we, we're not really credible in terms of taking. Asia scoring. I mean, we are keeping him from doing other things, but... Yeah, I'm a little skeptical, but let's see what he does. All right, so we're in no hurry to play Nazis. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> we're also in no hurry to respond to Asia, so I guess we should just do it. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm surprised I'm, he didn't He didn't seem very concerned about Asia. He didn't take it right. He didn't take my guess is, seriously. My guess is he has five years playing in Asia. Um, I, I don't else, think that's possible. They would have responded to that, yeah. Yeah, so I think Nazis are good. I always feel a little dirty if I score the Nazis after they fail their space attempt. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just take the points. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because with Asia domination now, we can't fight them in Europe. Um, and we can start filling up Middle East battlegrounds. Like, really, our only, like, actual cheap threat they need to respond to is Tunisia. And we should 
definitely wait for AR6 for that um, because they'll just play Libya if we play it now. Yeah, we, we may want to move into Iraq too if we get a chance. I'm not sure how many ops we're going to have, but if we get cooed out of Iran, we lose Iraq and Saudi as well. I'm just happy we haven't seen D-Stall at this point, because I think he would be playing it by now. We're in pretty decent shape if we draw D-Stall next turn. Board looks okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, the time they were spending on it was uh, fooling me. Yeah, that's really bad. All right, well, we, I think we need to get in Mexico at least one up just so we can easily realign them out from Guatemala if we want to. Um, thank you, Ruth. Now go to bed, please. I, I think, I think the, the card is Truman, and I think it's Mexico, Panama. I, I like Panama better than Costa Rica. Uh, I, I do here, knowing, knowing that they're already in South America. I, I, I'm a little more reluctant to do it when we don't know where D-Style is. Um, but here, I think we got to put pressure on them to cover. Yeah, the other consideration is Fidel, and you know, you go to Costa Rica so you can set up the realignment of Fidel. But we're probably going to hold it to turn three. So we could, we're just, I would, I would want to hold it for sure. I mean, like, yeah, so we got to have something in the mid war, and if we hold it to turn three and space it, then, then that. Yeah. But um, the other sure. thing, I mean, if they have to score something, I mean, my guess is they have five year plan Asia right now. Um, but if they do have to score Europe or Asia, I mean, it, we could, an opt to Colombia is not a bad move right now. Um, like Mexico, Colombia, and then if they, we could use defectors for like Libya. Uh, I just Mar don't think, I don't think, uh, they're, uh, they, I don't think they've got to score Asia or Europe. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, don't either. I think, I think they would flip it. They would have done the scoring this round and done stall in the last round. Okay. So you think so, maybe leave, leave Colombia alone, play Mexico and Panama, uh, Panama oh, yeah. and then oh, Panama. hold defectors. Yeah, uh, we could play Mexico, Panama now and not necessarily provoke them in Venezuela. I mean, they're not dumb, but I mean, Colombia, Tunisia, something else, Air yeah, 6, if they don't cover up, might be good. Yeah, just keep keep our biggest card for flexibility to, to see what they do, and we can try to take advantage of it. That's fine. They're probably sad that we haven't played a year. Right? So, so Thailand's a real possibility if they don't overprotect it. Libya needs, they need to get to. They need to put one into Venezuela. They've got a lot of, um, of obligations here, a lot of things they want to try to cover. So we should get something good. Um, I'm get, my, my guess is five-year plan Asia, one to Thailand, two to Libya. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm going to guess five-year plan Asia, one to Thailand, one to Libya, one to Venezuela. <laughs> yeah, if they don't cover Venezuela, we should be definitely be stepping out to Colombia. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, depending on what they do, I, I feel like Tunisia, Colombia, um, Guatemala are all. Okay. So definitely Tunisia and Colombia, and we can't break Thailand, but. Do you want to do both of them? We can't, we can't follow up both on AR1, I don't think. 
Yeah, but we can at least, if we had a four ops, we could either two to Libya, two to Venezuela, and then with two to Venezuela, they can't cover Venezuela and Brazil. Can they? Yeah, they can. <laughs> um, I kind of think we pick one, and then the rest of the ops just fill up either Algeria or Mexico, or just go fill up battlegrounds. I think I would. I think I'd go Tunisia over Colombia. I think. I, I, I think I like both Tunisia and, and um, Colombia, and the one reason for that is if he say coups Algeria, and now you have a, a you know realignment position on. Where are you where are you going on AR one? On AR one, I'll, I'll take whatever thing is open. They're both going to be open. Well, probably Libya or, then for for turn three because Mexico uh, Mid East could be scoring again and that'd be domination. Yeah, but then I don't think Venezuela will be open on AR two. Yeah, that's true. And if it's not if if it's not open, then what's the point of going to Colombia now? I feel like, I mean, I feel like Colombia is a bigger threat. I mean, because we're, if we don't go Colombia and, like, if we go yeah, Colombia and no Q, then we're, we're in South America. But if we don't, like, we're just locked out of South America possibly forever. Yeah, but if you're going to go Venezuela on AR-1, then what's the point of going to Tunisia? That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, if, we, if we're choosing one, I think Colombia is the, the stronger threat. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure which one's a stronger threat, but I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we need to pick one. So I don't, I don't have a problem with Colombia over Tunisia. I think it's kind of a hard, you know, Mideast is more likely to score an AR3, but we're going to have long-term problems if we don't get into South America now. Okay, I think, so I think Colombia, and I like Colombia, Iraq, and maybe fill Algeria. I mean, if we go Colombia, I don't think they're cooing. So we, like, we don't need to worry about Mexico. I mean, I guess they could, but Iraq gets us out of Iran. Yeah, I think that's better. So okay. Iraq, Iraq, Algeria, and Colombia. Yep. Yeah, I think that's fine. What was her? Oh, let's see. So they have Vietnam, decall, and destall, and decall's back in the deck still. Well, we have decall. We also have Asia scoring, which I think we should headline. So let's see. Let's see. So they've got Warsaw Pact. They have NATO. Japan. Five-year plan. They do, but it's useless to them because we have all the scorings. It's just three odds. Yeah. Reds. Um, yeah, so the cards I've got them with are Warsaw, Japan, NATO five year plan, and independent Reds. Yeah. Okay. And that makes sense because they only know four of our cards. So, yeah, and they get first deal, so they should have five unknowns. All right, so they get another two four ops. Um, I mean, I don't see any reason not to headline Asia scoring like, unless they play a war. There's nothing they can do about it. Yeah. And if they do play now. a war, what's that? I think it's got to go now. Yeah, if yeah. They, yeah. If, they play war, they, if they play still a war, has China, they still. If they play a war and they win it, we're not scoring it later anyway. Right. Okay. It does give them free U.S. Japan, but I mean. Yeah, whatever. that's true, but, but I think they would be able to stop it otherwise. We're, we're not good on offs this turn. Yeah, we got to do it. Really not good. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a major problem. So we're playing Fidel now. Yeah, we're not spacing anything. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bad turn. They don't know we don't have a four up though, so they might give us a coup in Africa in exchange for placing ops in Venezuela and Libya or something. And they might play Mexico too. 
Block eight is still in the deck too. No, no, it's not. They played at the AR six last turn. Well, they yeah, didn't. It, it could be redrawn. redrawn. Yes, it could be. It could have been redrawn. But we know four of the seven cards. Well, yeah, they could still have it. Yeah, we know five of the seven. Five of the seven. All right. Well, step into uh, Venezuela. He won't be able to take it. Well, I think we at least get get. We should get access into Venezuela. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not sure that we play a one of our twos or one of our threes. I think maybe just just put a play a two op into it. I think just, special relationship. Yeah, do you want to play Arab Israeli War at some point? I mean, it's not going to get better. I mean, we yeah, we, we get, probably, we're going to play it all. It's probably not going to get worse, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess they know we have Arab Brazilian, and they don't know we have special relationships, so if we're, we're going to have to play it, we might as well just play that in Venezuela. Yeah, I think they've got other opportunities, even if we get unlucky and they win the war. I mean, I suppose they could try to fill up Israel, but yeah, I'm not. They've, got, they've got so many other good opportunities to use their ops right now, so. I mean, the other thing, we could use a three-up for two in Mexico. Because that's sort of contested right now, um, but then we can't get anything in Venezuela. I, I, I'd like to get something in Venezuela. I think Mexico is a little easier to get back to with uh, real lines. Okay. All right. It's real tough for the U.S. when they get shut out of South America. Mm -hmm. So next turn, do we fortify Mexico or do we score Europe? I mean, I think we if, take. Oh, next round, yeah. I was going to say Mexico if it's still available. I mean, I think you'll cover it up now. Yeah, they do have well, a four up. Yeah, uh, if they cover it up now, I guess they would need they'd need at least a three up. No, four, they need four because they have to still have South America. They have to protect. Yeah. Well, they know we can't take Brazil because we didn't take Venezuela. Right. Uh, yeah, we could take we could take Venezuela if they don't put one into Venezuela. Yeah, they need at least one op in there. Yeah, so I guess three op. Yeah, so they'd have to use a four op to cover everything, which they have. <laughs> so fortunately, enough protection in Mexico for right now. Yeah, so I mean, we can play one Mexico, one Guatemala, and then we don't have a realign target that would, I guess allow us to control it. Um, I, I guess we don't need to worry about that. That's a little risky. We just need to get rid of them. So I guess we just score Europe. Yeah, I think we score Europe. Now, one thing I think we should be thinking about is getting one into Egypt. It costs us two ops to do it, but I mean, that sets up Sadat later and it also threatens Libya immediately. We're so ops light, though. I mean, I don't, I don't yeah. know if I want to break anything this turn. I think we can wait on that. Okay. Because he'll just take Libya. Uh, yeah. So I think I think the plan is dump Europe now, and then we can set up a realign on Mexico. I don't think he'll coup us, and we can just try our luck realigning. I mean, or we can just leave it and like wait wait till another turn. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have, take it. Let him take it. We're gonna have to realign Cuba as well, so we probably want to get out into Costa Rica and. Maybe we can fidel it in, into Nicaragua at the end of the turn. That's true, too. I, I'd like to take a rack if we have the time, but we'll see. Yeah, I think I'd take a rack before I break Egypt. I would, too. I mean... I mean, if it's AR6, and break Egypt. You mm -hmm. know, if it's AR6 and Libya's still open, break Egypt. But before AR6, I don't think I would break Egypt. All right, so, I mean, I guess Fidel's no big secret. And, like, they're not going to expand out of there and give us a coup target. So if we're going to play it, it doesn't kill us to play it now. 
Yeah, I don't think there's any. Um, I don't think we're giving away any information. Yeah, there's no downside. So, Costa Rica or Guatemala, or do you see anything else? I mean, Iraq works out, or I I think we go Costa Rica, and then next turn we can go Guatemala and what is it, Honduras, Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Yeah. And okay. That would put a real threat. Maybe you know, I don't know that they'll coup. They may not want to give us a mill ops, but I mean, we might actually get a good realign. And we don't even need to realign this turn. Like we can, we're, I mean, we're sort of short on ops and time. If we, we can just let it sit there, and they're not going to coup us, and they're, they're going to take it back. They're probably going to coup Iran next turn or or Panama. So we can just save the realigns. So. They they still have independent reds, U.S. Japan, five year plan. plan, five year plan, two unknowns, just one. They only have four. Oh, one unknown, one unknown. Yeah, all our cars should be unknown to them now. Mm hmm. All right, so I, I like the Guatemala, and I guess Czechoslovakia here. I mean, Yugoslavia. I think, I think Czech. No advantage being next to Italy at this point. Yeah, Yugoslavia doesn't give anything we need, and Czech, I mean, theoretically helps with realigns. Yep. And that tear down. All right, so. We want to go NORAD to Guatemala and Nicaragua? Yes. Yeah, I think that's fine. I wonder if they're going to even hold five year plan. I wouldn't have fired them. I mean, like, I, everything I else it. is good for them. Exactly. <laughs> All the stories out there are looking great. <laughs> I'd dump it if I were them. Good news is we're either going to get China or Japan, but not that Japan helps us a lot right now. Yeah, I just scored. I mean, it does help with the Korean War if they if they draw it. Um, uh, another four ops. Oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> wow, they have a mountain monster turn. Yeah, this is brutal. All right. Um, Real line. So, I, so think I, special, I think special relationship for Cuba. All right. So just just remembering that five year plan and what was the other card? Japan. Uh, Japan. Okay. So they're going to play Japan, I guess. They're going to play Japan and hold five year plan with the CIA. Yeah, it's not that dangerous. Yeah. All right. So special relations relationship to real line Cuba. Um, yeah, I think we may want to take a rack on AR six. If they don't do anything else in the middle, I guess they'll do other things in the Middle East. I was going to say if they do nothing else, I like breaking Egypt better than taking Iraq, um, because that actually takes the presence away. Yeah. But I think he'll cover Libya. But cover the four op, and the four op, he's going to cover a lot of weaknesses. Yeah. So so, yeah, definitely. It's a real in Cuba here. Yeah. You only get one roll. All right. You're good. Oh, no. I guess I can see this a little bit before you guys, huh? <laughs> yes. I think there's like two or three second delay here.
So we're going to be banking on some big mid-war events and or an awesome Tehran or Asnot to get us through until we can turn it around. I think I like to Iraq. Well, I've got to take one of them for sure. Yeah, Iraq, Iraq seems fine. Do you like I, I Well, you, would you rather go one Iran and then one somewhere else? I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. There's nothing we're going to threaten this turn. I guess we could go one to, to Brazil. Well, that's interesting. That breaks up the control temporarily. Could go one to Brazil. Um, I mean, I hate to fill up the Mideast, but... <laughs> <laughs> with Muslims coming. But uh, at the same time, I'm not sure. Hmm. So if you went one Brazil, he's probably going to coup Brazil on AR1 if he gets the coup. See, if I, if I, if I think if we go one Brazil, they're going to forgo the coup and play, I, I cover Iran and fill Brazil. You think? I think I just coup Brazil. Well, if they do that, we take Iraq then. No, if they if they do if, if they, they do that, we get Iran and Iraq. Um, so cooing Brazil, they would get one. I mean, they would have to succeed first. They could theoretically fail. Yeah, but it's like five out of six if you used a three up. I don't know. I think I think I would just take Iraq. To so the thing that I'm thinking is, like we already have like two things threatening them to, like two two realign targets that they theoretically might want to do something about instead of a coup. I mean, I guess it's not the greatest, but and we're you know we've had so few ops. Like just being efficient with them right now, um, I feel like it's better. So yeah, let's go to two. All right. Awesome. Ooh, ask not in South America. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah. Not a lot to send with it, though. Yeah, but we, we don't have much choice. Well, there's, there's some. There's some. There's rear guards, which is good. Puppets would have been good had they not got all the access. Um, but it'll still get us to like Haiti and. No, I meant not much to throw on Astronaut. Oh, okay. decal, decal only. I mean, I don't know that I'd throw anything else. So well, South America. Be... Yeah. South, okay, South America, of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's the main reason to do it. Because decal could be space. Yeah, but yeah. South America alone is worth using Astronaut on. Sure. That's a, that's a lot of points. Yeah. So, so I think we, we either headline. Rear guards or astronaut. Uh, since we didn't make that aggressive AR1 play, I'm more or AR7 play. I'm more inclined to headline rear guards and give them something to think about. I like rear guards. I think it's a much more powerful in the headline than it is a uh, mid turn. Rear guards definitely. And astronaut, we you know you like to play that too, but uh, I think we can play it uh, even mid turn. Yeah. Yeah, so, so a few cars we're dumping. We've got plenty of ops to, to deal with any problems that come up before we have to, to use ANSC. Okay, so we want to go um, Zaire, Nigeria, and do we want... You could go to Laos. You could go to Laos. Um, I mean, we could go to, like, South 
Africa and Botswana as well. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, I like Laos. I think he, I think he probably covers and doesn't coup. Good. We like that. Yeah. yeah. And then what? You coup Iran, you coup Libya, something like that. I think we could as an African battleground, right? Yeah, you could do that too, I guess. Yeah, probably an African battleground. Oh, no, well. uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, he can cover Enku. So there we go. Those two for sure. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I feel like South Africa just has a point in the battleground. It's going to matter. Um, yeah, I think South Africa is better at this point. And then the fourth one to I think Laos. Laos. Okay. So we're going to throw a decal. So Asnot's going to only be South America score. Yeah, I know. That's why that Quag is such a ter terrible card this turn for us. Yeah. It's, it's, always, it's always the turn you, you don't have cards to dump on it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know? So time-wise, we're down 36 minutes over a little over three turns, so we're a little slow. Yeah, we have to pick it up a bit. Go, yeah, awesome. Uh, Let's make fail. the roll. Nope. No! <laughs> uh, so we're pitching Indo pack, I think. Yeah, it's got to be IP War. I mean, it could be Puppets. We're not, like, we're not going anywhere good with Puppets. I mean... Maybe not, but like, if we don't think they're going to go to any non battlegrounds, we want our military points. You know, that's a good point. I think I think maybe puppets is better. Or what's in discard that we might want with salt? We could get our mill ops that way. Purge. Yeah, purge is about. Yeah, so I don't know that we need to save IP War if we're going to play Salt. Yeah. But probably play Ansk Not as soon as we get a break, just so that we see what the, the new card is and we can figure out if we need to change any plans as a result. Yeah. The way this game is going, we need to play it just so we can see Gunman immediately. And... <laughs> <laughs> well, then we can play Salt, and, we can, and then we can dump yeah. it. <laughs> oh, the ops continue. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. They're giving us coup targets, Ian. Yeah, they did. Well, it's got to be, yeah, I think IP War. Yeah. We're out. So is he going to coup Guatemala next, you think? I think that's what I would do. Or no, maybe Iran. So if he's got... They have gunmen, okay. So he probably doesn't have Mideast, right? Yeah, so I... We're not... Well, I guess you could cover... Cover the battleground in the east. I would like to get Iran. I mean, we can go back to Guatemala again. Yeah. Um, and I mean, another another options would be to play puppets to Saharan states, Cameroon, and Guatemala. No, I think I think I take the battleground in in Middle East and also South Africa. Okay, yeah, so maybe South Africa, Iran. Because yeah. I, yes. I, I don't want to use puppets, because I think we actually can make decent use out of it in Africa now. Um, yeah, so we sh shuttle, I guess. Yep. So Iran, Guatemala, and South Africa. Right. 
And then next turn, probably ask not. I think that's going to be depending on how good his coup in Guatemala is. Yeah, we're not tied to salt negotiations either. I mean, so he gets us in Guatemala. Um, we could we could also puppets to Saharan Cameroon and like El Salvador or Dominican to threaten to realign in Africa and stop the domination in Central. But again, we're just kicking the can down the road with his ass knot. I think we just do ask not now and see what we get. I, I agree. I, I think I think we've lost the Central American thing this turn if he has it. Interesting. So Duck is in the discard. So that's that's a playable card either this turn or next turn. Headline or even AR1 next turn. We could even do salt, pick up purge, hold purge, hold missile. And then you headline purge next turn at a high DEF CON. All right, so let's, let's, let, we gotta think this through somewhat because if we saw it, we still have no mill ops and there's gonna be some coups coming. So if we salt, I don't even know if they're going to coup or if they're going to just let us do it, but I, I think we're going to want to coup with arms race into Nigeria. Yeah, do you, I think salt is, we do salt for the event and we hold missile envy and we hold purge. And we, we coup with arms race. We probably play puppet governments. We might go one into Central or two in Africa or one Saudi Arabia or just just get three ops out of it. Yeah. Do you want to event public governments this round or do you want to play salt this round? I think maybe puppets first. That does that does stop two dominations. If we play Central, we play like El Salvador, Saharan, Cameroon. I mean, I guess we could also just forget about fighting in Central America and play Saudi. Cameroon Saharan. I think I prefer going into Saudi. Yeah, I can. I mean, what, what do you think, Anthony? I, I could, I could be on board with either. I don't feel su super strongly either way. Well, if we're, we want to make sure we get the the coup in. Yeah, the coup is going to be we we event salt and then we we coup with arms race. Right. So you're going to play a puppet before you do that. Yeah, I think so. I think so, just because it, it essentially is something they have to respond to. Okay, I mean, but the one in Saudi doesn't necessarily force any kind of immediate response. No, but the Nigeria one does, and, and they're going to they're gonna wind up cooing one of those little guys, and then we're going to yeah. solve, and then we're going to just be able to coo Nigeria anyway and sort of waste their... I see. Yeah, okay. Howdy. Is there anything we want besides Purge? I just saw Purge and I thought that was a great card, but I, I don't think there's anything else there, really. Uh, purge is fine. I, I don't think they're the, the big U.S. cards of, really, I guess, Colonial, but Purge is better. Yeah, so the big the the... The blue twos haven't come out, and if they're purged next turn, that we might give them some problems. And and with us being so far behind on the board, I like being able to to get a nice space lead, and that gives you so much of a better chance of getting DEFCON if we if we're down to that as our last desperate option. They could there. Yeah, they just used up all their good luck on that though. And it was salt for purge. It's all for RSP. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're gonna have some problems next turn. And they're like, oh shit. Yeah, and they, they don't even have a great coup target under Salt here. Like Nigeria is a good one, but um, for us, I'd probably I go they, probably go Panama with for them. Yeah, but I mean, under under Salt with us having adjacency, that's 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 like two offs inefficient from. Yep. Yeah, we fall. We have fallen quite a bit behind them on time. Yes, yeah, so we got forty nine minutes, and if we were on schedule, we should be at fifty four minutes at the end of this turn. So we're about five minutes. We've got to make up. All right. Well, I, I got an auto play next turn. Is killing Nigeria with arms race, no matter what they do. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're not that bad. We just need about eight minutes a turn from here on out. I mean, that would be, like, so much extra time in a normal game, but, it, <laughs> you know. I think it's always harder to play when you're behind on time. Not, not, I mean, it's harder when you're, when you're behind on the board, it's harder to keep up on time, keep up mm -hmm. on, on schedule. Yeah, and this is one of those games, like, I personally both dislike playing and I sort of struggle in my in how I do compared to my skill level, I think, in games like this where just all the battlegrounds just immediately fill up and there's nothing to do with your ops, really. Right. Um, I get a little lost uh, and it takes me longer to think of what to do. Yeah, I mean, just look at this, this map. It's only turn four and there, the reds are everywhere. Yeah, I, I much prefer a game where, like, everyone's eventing the opponent's events to try to fight other areas. If, like, everything's half-hanging. And, like, those are, those are the games that I find easier to play. And Oh. All right, I can't auto coup Ni Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm on an arms race, and it's going to be a coup. It's just going to be the one north of it, Saharan states. You like, like, or you like, you like I like Haiti over Saharan states. I mean, you like what over Saharan states? I like Haiti over Saharan states. Just I mean, because we're at a minus one already. Yeah, yeah. it has domination. Either one prevents a domination. Um, and, and threatens a big real line, but one's just going to succeed in the other might I, I, I'm thinking maybe in Central America, either Guatemala or Haiti. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I like Haiti just because... Then you got a plus two instead of a plus one. Yeah, and... Yeah. I mean, that's, I changing, like the, that's changing the score there and makes a nice threat for the beginning of next turn. Okay, I'm going to do that just because we're low on time. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So I think purge. Yep. ABM is good. It's gonna give us a chance to fight back in Africa. And blockade will dump OPEC. That's nice. Yes. But then I'm, we have guessing, space. I'm thinking we're gonna just event missile envy because nothing bad can happen and they're under purge. Yeah. Oh, I think missile envy gets evented as soon as we can. AR1 if we if we don't have to respond to anything.
if he's got Muslim, he's probably going to play it now, though. All right, so we're looking at Central and Middle East, Africa, and Southeast Asia. And they're all pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, Middle, I mean, Middle East about Muslims, we have a, we're actually are sort of ahead. Right. But that's a big if. Oh boy! Uh, I think mid east. I'm I'm sorry, mi missile enemy. Sure. Even if he's got something, he won't be able to score it right now. I mean, I guess you could try your realign on Kiba right now if you wanted to, but well, they still get a turn. He, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they can score it whatever they want right now. Right. So uh, I don't know. I think missile enemy. Yeah. I mean. Unless something crazy happens. Hopefully we catch Muslim. That would be ideal. Yeah, hopefully hopefully they just shove like shove a three op one into Iran right now. And then we get Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> So they're debating between Muslims or Central America, probably. <laughs> I'm thinking we hold our man in Tehran until... Uh, no, we're playing... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, until the, near the end of the turn and just... Right. I mean, like, if they score all, if they score Central and Africa, then it's not worth it. But if... if I don't think it should be our AR7 play, but AR6, maybe, if, if we haven't seen a really bad scoring, then we event that. Agree. Wow. So, yeah, I think missile. Yeah, because they they can't even score now. So, This is where we begin our comeback. <laughs> yes! <laughs> they should have played it last turn. All right, so... So, I think... They still have five-year plan, don't they? Yes. Yeah, they do. So, I think... I think we flip Nigeria. And we play... Uh... And then ABM, we can coup Panama. Yeah, so... Do, do we? I don't think we flip Nigeria. I mean, we could flip Nigeria with just four ops. I, I don't. I don't care. Like if they, because if they have a four ops, they can flip a pack. But that's just. I'm. Ha I'm happy under purge, just flipping that thing back and forth. Um, I think we ought to go one more into. Um, is it Nicaragua or yeah, Nicaragua, just to get a presence in Central. Yeah, except they're playing missile envy this this coming turn, so they're not going to score it no matter what. So we really don't need that presence yet. Hmm. True. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure where the other op goes. I mean, you could, I don't know, maybe Saudi set up set up a mid east domination at, at some point. Yeah, um, we could do that. We could also, I mean, it's, Philippines it's, is a possibility. Another thing, yeah, we I think we got to go Africa, but then we could just go. Do we have a one stability we can touch? No, we don't, huh? Because we could yeah. we, we could set up an African domination, but I guess we can just do that next turn too. So, yeah, I like definitely flipping Nigeria, and I guess I guess Saudi they can't score that next turn, but um, I think that's my preference. All right, and then on next AR you take domination in both Africa and Middle East. If they don't, they can't respond. They only have a one. Okay. Yeah, we could either do that or we can use ABM at some point. I'm not sure which one's the best order. But let's see if we can figure out what they're scared of. 
see what they do with missile. I wouldn't, uh, if I were them, I would probably coup Cameroon. I think that's the best play. Cause it, especially because it's only a one-op missile. Exactly. And they are rolling good too. Yes. So, um, so I think maybe two to, is it Sierra Leone? Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Coast. Yeah. yeah. And one to Ivory Saudi. Coast and one to Saudi. Yep. That's what I was saying. I think we ought to go Nicaragua instead because they do have five year plans. So we're not going to catch them with Middle East, but we could score Central America. How many VP is that? It's only one for presence, but I, I mean, I do think we ought to get it in Saudi, but. This, it's not scoring this turn. No, you're right about that. But if... Yeah, so there's no hurry on Saudi. Yeah, unless they've got something like grain cells. Oh, yeah. Face it. Yeah, I guess let's... I mean, it's just one VP. You're, you are right. They could... They could maybe not be able to fight your planet. They might have to play like China card or something. Yeah, let's let's... I mean, see, Saudi and Ivory Coast? Yeah. Okay. And we'll find out if they've got Central America or not. I bet they do, but they were more concerned about that than they were about Muslims. Yeah, I mean, they also didn't know we had miss or missile envy. But. Problem with ABM here. Um, I guess. Our best coup target is probably Panama if they don't play Central America because it's isolated and all we have to do is get them out. You you may want to play Omit first. If we if we dump Central America, then we can use ABM somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So So we know they don't have Central America this turn. We're two battlegrounds down, or two non-battlegrounds down in Africa, and we have no access to the one stabilities. Yeah, so but we can do. You, you can use blockade for a coup, toss open. You can use blockade for a coup, um, but that still only gets us even, and they can just kill us right back. No, that, um, that gets us five to four. Oh, I was counting six somehow. Okay, yeah, it does get us there. Um, Okay, so we've got blockade for OPEC, um, ABM treaty. I'm I'm thinking Panama is probably our best target, but I guess we might want to omit before we ABM. Um, what, what did they use Camp David for? Uh, one one, 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 one three in Poland, I think. So you're probably going to see uh, John Paul coming out. Yeah, that's a John that's Paul a, prep move. So I think we can safely assume they don't have scorings. Yes. So, um, so that tells me I want to play Omen. Yeah, let's just do it. For the event. I agree. Oh, Omen, yeah. Good card, good card, good card. Well, we want to toss Southeast Asia. <laughs> yeah, Southeast Asia, we will bury you, Socialist, and UN, I don't know. I, I dump them all. You dump all of them? Yeah. Yeah, so now I think ABM for Panama uh, this turn. Yeah, I think ABM for Panama, and then 
depending on what that rolls up, we might want to use Panama Canal return to finish it off and get one in Venezuela. Right. Um, we probably blockade to coup Sudan. Um, yeah. Well, we saw John Paul, right? Yeah, they just played it right there. All right, so we're going to ABM Panama. Nope. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, so blockade discarding in OPEC, probably cooling Sudan. Yeah, so we want to go Panama for the event. Panama for the event, and... and and we can set up a real line too. We can take we can take Costa Rica, or we can coup in Africa. I think both those options are good. So double or protect there, which protects against Panama. We need uh, to get real ops in here. Are we ABM'd? Are we ABM'd? Oh, that's right. Okay. They're the ones short on mill ops. No, they have mill ops, right? They... One. Got one. One, yeah. Okay. So, should we just Panama Canal now? Yeah, unless you're going to use the card for, for cooing in Africa. Yeah, I mean, we could blockade to coup in Africa, but I think... Is there any... No, I mean, are you going to use Panama to, to, to coup in Africa? It gives you one I'm... more coup. Yeah, I would prefer Bark. I think just use it. I mean, it gets into Venezuela. This AR, because you know you're going to do it. You're going to use blockade for a coup. So coup Sudan? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. Hey, okay, we're dominating. All right. And then we, I, I'm thinking, I mean, I, unless they're really holding something, they don't got a ton left. I'm thinking we are going to event Panama, fill up Costa Rica with one, and then maybe overprotect Nigeria, maybe place in Nicaragua. Um, can't really well, see anything. Nigeria is just going to get cool. Oh, subs. Subs. Right, that changes things a little bit. Does it? Um, Any coup targets? that We don't have much ops. Yeah, not a lot. And the, the one stabilities he has are, are got five on him each. Yeah, so. You may want to coup Nigeria. I mean, that's probably where he's going next turn. Why did he play nu nuclear subs this round instead of next round? What is he a five-year plan. He's got great sales in the five-year plan, maybe. Or a five-year plan in the East. He's got five-year plan. He must be playing five-year plan next turn. Yes. So it's probably, it's probably five-year plan in the East. Right. Because I don't know why else he plays nuclear subs this round. Yeah, so I think, I think Middle East is going. Um, so I, I, what's that? I think, yeah. So he's got he's got five year plan. Right, the question is, do we want to play Panama Canal for the event, or do we want to play it for a coup? Yeah, I mean, we could coup Nigeria with it. I mean, we could also coup Sudan to get domination back. I guess they have five year plan, and I mean, it doesn't matter. But um, well, they're going to be playing it. Yeah, so I, I would like to get a coup into Nigeria at some point. All right, I think we should. I think we should use Panama Canal as much as that hurts. I mean, I'd like to event it, but then, then what is Lads doing the next round? No, no, no. Let, we could use Lads, and then we could event Panama Canal and, and leave Venezuela, or leave Venezuela as sort of like something hanging. Yeah, I think that's possible. We won't have any presence in Central America, but it's just one VP. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm fine with that. Okay. There you go. <laughs> First time you're on you don't need it at all. <laughs> We're really hanging in there despite this going, I mean, 
I feel like it's going to go south eventually, unless something really turns around. But well, Central America is ten points. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we called that. There's Central. It's uh, so such a shame we didn't get that with Omit. I like Nixon as a headline. I don't see anything else. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah, I think that's best. So, one small step has not been played yet. That's right. Yeah. We have it in our hand. Oh, I didn't see we had it. We can wait wait for them to space, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking we were going to have to wait because we didn't have it, but now we want to wait because we do have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, uh, this is going to be ugly. I can space it out or OAS or green. Yeah. So if we need to keep waiting, we can play Portugal. We can play, well, we'll have to play Central America before we play Cambridge. Uh, we need to cover that one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Alliance. So I think Marshall cover it and then put one into uh, Costa Rica. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, get set up the real line. I also give presents. Yeah, he probably. He probably coos uh, Columbia. Columbia. Yeah. And if he rolls well, we may want to just give up on Central America. Because we really don't want to play Cambridge until after Central America. Mm -hmm. We probably want to get a coup on Botswana. Yeah, that figures. Yeah. Yeah, he ought to coup um, Ivory Coast. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he's thinking about. That seems like a, a no-brainer. Yeah, maybe they're thinking about Nicaragua, so we can't just place one there. But I guess it doesn't even matter that much, because real is still bad for us. Plus, it's a 4 up Che. Yeah, so we need we we have to coup Cameroon. We could do it with Portuguese Empire. Yep, Portuguese. You have to roll fairly well on that. It can, that could that could miss. I yeah, see that alliance. That's our, you know, that's our strongest card. So <laughs> I, I, I do Portuguese. Uh, now and hope for a good roll. You got to have one eventually. Yep, there you go. We're well done. All right, so Central next turn, Cambridge 5 or something. Yeah, he's probably going to keep the pressure on us now. I'm afraid we may crack this turn. <laughs> we, we've been holding out. But this is looking grim. How many cards are left in the deck? Six. It's okay. And... Um... 
Nice. And there's one break. All right, so. I think Central America. Yep. Uh, that at least gives us another free op uh, card with yeah. Cambridge. And it's yeah, not going to get better. You get Ku Botswana with Lions, but yeah, I think it's going to do it. Oh, he must have some problems. Yeah, so they're going to space. Um, so Cambridge, but where? I mean, it all just over. looks so bad. I mean, I, I feel like even though we just scored Central, we should queue Columbia. Because if we queue Columbia, we threaten both relining Panama and placing Venezuela. Yeah, or Guatemala. Colombia's a little bit tougher not to crack. We're going to want to win Colombia eventually, though. So knocking yeah, it down is something. You know, it might not be, and it might not be bad to fail it, then he goes to space. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm fine with either. I'm going to go with Columbia just because it feels terrible to score Central America and fight for it immediately. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think, I think Columbia is, has the most upside for sure, which we kind of need. There we go. Oh, you've, gotten, you've gotten hot. <laughs> hey, he's got he's to respect that. He's got to play something to it. If he does, what's our next play? I guess Alliance. We'll Alliances. I mean, so, South Africa is not too bad either. We could do South Africa. We had to. That's probably our hold card. So he could be dealing with bear trap, grain cells, voice, OAS, Sadat. Those are his problem cards he could possibly have. Yeah, cultural revolution still out there, but I don't know if they want to vent that on a turn like this. Yeah, you know, one day. Okay, I think we uh, just take Venezuela. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Maybe short lived, but looks good for now. We go down from. Uh, Eight to th eight to three, or oh, eight to two. Space, come on, you can do it. We'll probably fail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on, make it fail. <laughs> uh, all right, space so I think we can just space now. Yeah, I think we need to space, and then space are we going to hold one? Well, let's space. If we if we miss it, we may want to hold one small step. Absolutely. Okay, so space Suez. Yep. Yeah, I think that's the the more dangerous card for us. Success. We can just space South Africa as well, theoretically. Yeah, I think so. If we if we don't have a problem. They don't include Colombia. Yeah. We could realign Panama too. That's not something we have to respond to. I think we just space. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. Uh, space. Yeah. All right. Yeah, gunman, revolution, revolution was America. So they have OAS and grain. And U2. U2. Well, no, we played U2 already. Did they? Yeah. Did they okay. It was. I have OAS and grain. There's got to have one more card we know. Defectors? No, nope, I saw that last year. Yeah, I quit. So, yeah, OAS. Just like we said, missing one card. 
That's fine. We'll know when we see it. Um, Brush War. Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> um, all right. So they don't know yet. They don't know we have gunmen. I would like to get rid of it. Um, should we? We could have on voice ABM. I think we're going to have to play the China card this turn, right? Yes. And then cultural goes afterwards. Yeah. Um... Shay are Muslims to space. No, 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 Korea to space, I guess. Yeah, that's a lot of bad cards. Yeah, so we could, if we headlined ABM. And Thailand? We could, we could well, we, we have Asia domination already. But Southeast Asia is not scored yet. It's not. I mean, the other, like, the other thing, if we headlined it, if we did something with the ops, we could be guaranteed to play gunmen. Oh, I see. There's no yeah, but real battlegrounds over there except for Israel. So, hey, just checking back, the cards we think they have are Willy Brandt, oh. Grain Cells, OAS, and Brush War? Yes, that sounds right. Okay. So, voice, a ABM, or something else, and if we do ABM, do we queue or do we use the ops? And we gotta, we gotta hurry on time a little bit. Um, we just don't have real good use for the ops this right now. Everything's filled up. Yeah, what's he gonna do with Brush War? He's going to go to Venezuela. Yeah, he is. He's probably going to headline it. So we should pro we could put ABM headline ABM and, and throw one in Colombia to help us, and then um, you think one yeah, and then and then dump great and then dump the gun. Yeah, then they would probably he probably coup and then we oh, dump. The gun I don't like that. We're so you far like behind. That? No, we're so far behind. I think we got to hold the gun and just take our chances. All right. So, do you want a voice or ABM then? I, I like ABM. So, voice or ABM Brazil. in the headlines? I like ABM and hit Brazil. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine. Ah. Well, I know what they're targeting. <laughs> well, we knew it beforehand, we called it. Yes. Uh, yeah. See, we've been making good calls. Now, that, now we've got Even if we lose, we have been making good calls on this game. <laughs> now they have to coup, and they're going to coup Venezuela, and they're going to fail again. I'm, I'm sure. Well, they may just take Brazil outright. If they do, then you can dump the gun. Then you could dump the gun. Mm -hmm. And they don't know that we have that. Yeah, they know that we have One Small Step, Korean War, Cultural Revolution, Voice of America. Suez Canal too, right? Suez Crisis. We don't have that. Oh. No, we don't. We spaced that last turn. <sighs> I've not that. I always, yeah, I cannot... I can't I start, track. I start focusing on the game too much and then I'm not keeping track of the cards, but yeah. Wow, so they got to 2050 and they've only played seven games? Yeah, with your first game, we'll go over 2000 if we win this game. All right, so we can't. Take Brazil. I think. Yeah, so I mean, like, oh, Che's almost playable. Yeah. You, it's, right, only gonna really, it's only going to really hit Cameroon. All right, so, so we're going to play China card. We're going to hold two. We're going to play Cultural Rev. 
We're going to we're space hold one. Gun in. So, so we need one, to, one small step is for ops now because you're not going to get a chance to event one small step. So, okay, that's so ops. we're, we're going to have to play one of either Shea, Muslims, or Korea, right? Yes. So I think Shea's the least damaging of those three. And I think it's better to do it now because I want to go Colombia, Brazil this turn. I agree. Okay. And so that way we can do it before. Yeah, I think, I think Shea's got to be the card now. Okay. I mean, we do have seven there. So even at a plus three, it's going to take some hits to realign that. I said that in my last game and somebody got me <laughs> in the first round. <laughs> yep. I had like seven in Mexico and I'm like, I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if he hits Colombia, we can we can decide whether we want to coup back or if we want to try to save Nigeria. Oh. Well, yeah, I think that answers the question for us. Um, save Nigeria. Yeah, one so small step. Right. Another nice roll. We needed that roll. So Voices is going to get Libya unless they ever protect it. So I think we got to do that now, like it, it, as soon as possible if we can. Yeah, they know we've got the card too. Yeah, so we want to get it before. Oh. Ugh. Well, that brush war was huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was it was ten VP just a few seconds ago, so that's uh, that's fine. All right, yeah. boys, take Libya. What else besides Libya? You could flip Laos. Yeah, I mean, SE scoring still out, so that's two points. See or you could, you could you could threaten take, something. You could you could take two off Botswana. Um, they could just play back, though. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think like I think Laos is probably like it, it, it stops him from fighting for Asia domination more, and if Southeast Asia comes around, you can take Syria. He's no uh, direct tie to that. Takes a presence out of Middle East. That is true. And we're holding Muslims. And we're yeah. holding Muslims. Let's go Syria. I, I, mean, I kind of like that. I like that. think about it anyway. Yeah, we need to play for the big variance here. We're four ops from control, too. Mm -hmm. We actually, theoretically, may have two space attempts here. Yeah, so we should go Korea space, and if they don't immediately space, then do Muslims. Yeah, we can hold on Muslims and uh, <laughs> All I right. Guess we gone Laos. I had the wrong one. <laughs> All right. So space Korea, or do we? Yeah. Space Korea. Space Korea. Okay. So I assume they're going to space grain cells. Yeah. Okay. So they succeed. A game with no grain cells. So I think. I think we play China card into Libya and Israel and just take control of the Middle East. Good. Yeah, or you could slam it into North Korea. You got a four to back it up. We could. I mean, we already dominate Asia. and Yeah, but you got, the, you got NTB could always go to Libya and okay. Israel. Efficient use of the extra influence. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking it was inefficient, but then we do get the extra one, yeah, so. And we know they're holding uh, Willie Brandt and OAS and one other, so they don't have a ton of ops. All right, so. Cultural. 
yeah. it's both North Korea and uh, West Germany. Yep, and we can NTB to control Middle East if they don't do anything else. Just hope we can find a way to get rid of the gun. Yeah, just hope they don't have another monster scoring. That's why they're playing all these VPs, and we just gave them another one. Well, Central America is really the only, I guess, Europe too. Ooh. Ooh, Panama. Yes. What card are they holding? We don't know the hold, but it must be pretty bad. All right, I think we got to take Panama. Yes. And. Libya? One in. No, you don't want to make too good a coup target. One in yeah, Israel. I, I, almost, I almost think Tunisia to give us a backdoor into Libya be, so the Egypt isn't a two battleground swing if they coup it. It's interesting. Okay. Like it. Yeah, I think that's fine. And we, we want to get African domination at some point anyway, so it's not completely wasted there. And we did draw Africa. Mm -hmm. So, what, tear down this wall? That, that's my initial instinct anyway. Uh, North Sea Oil does allow us to play OPEC for free. Oh, that's true. But we don't get the extra... The extra um... We're not playing eight cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I'm playing eight cards, right? So, yeah, I'd rather just space OPEC. I guess we got to worry about Muslim Revolution. Although we can play OPEC for free anyways. We can just play it into Venezuela. They have no other Middle East. Yeah, so space Muslims and use OPEC to break uh, Venezuela. Okay. So yes, that's right. So tear down this wall. Yep. Roll we can, roll really well on Italy. We can maybe fight for domination in Africa. Yeah, they're probably going to realign us out of South Africa, but at least they, you know, if they do that, we can at least dump the card before they dominate it. Hmm. Yeah. So it is one, two, three, four to one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're not we're not fighting for it. I I lied. <laughs> All right. Um. Have to worry about war games, but there's not too much we can do if we can't get Africa scored. Maybe they'll try to score Europe for us right here. <laughs> Doesn't get us out of war game range, even if they do. <laughs> so if they alter games us, we have no hope. Um, Right. A risk we knew. Yeah, I was just I was just thinking if we had like a, a card that like like nuclear test ban or something, we might just want to hold. I guess I guess for older games will come now, but for like terrorism, just like keep it around. If it could raise DEFCON theoretically, but yeah, the only alternative is to headline lone gunman now. But I mean, you're so far behind. Yeah, we're not. We're keeping this thing till the end of the game, I think, and or we're losing to it. <laughs> I think that's right. Well, so, I mean, you can get you an intervention. You can get Star Wars. I mean, there's 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 going to be other cards that can do it. Mm -hmm. So right now they're ahead of pace of nine minutes a turn. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, that implies a, a lot of problems in their hand. Unless they just couldn't fix it. I mean, it's it's so bad. Like, what else are they going to do about it? But Yeah, but they, that means they don't have war games. Well, they could hope for defectors, yeah. Well, they could have used China oh, to take... Oh, uh, that was so close. Man, we we may even want to take East Germany. Would you would you think about dumping Muslims? I don't know about that. Hmm. Because they're locked out of the Middle East right now. Yeah. Like Muslims would let them back in, wouldn't it? Because yeah. I mean, yes. It, yes, it, it would. Yeah. All right. That did something. Never mind. No, it was a good try. Well, just I think I think can we can we try to get Africa? Is it too far out of range? I guess it is. It's seven to four. So. If we hit a coup, it would be um, six to five. We would hit two coups. I don't think it's happening. Well, we, we need mill ops, so we could take a shot at Botswana. 
you're you're gonna have to coup at some point this turn. Yeah, do we want a two up or so I mean I don't know. Maybe it's better to to spend our coups in Central America though. I'm not sure. Um if that's the case you probably want to dump Africa now. Yeah, yeah so. we're gonna coup somewhere else dump Africa. dump Africa now. Get the VP. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Don't worry about the realign here, and then yeah, I think Africa is probably just a little a bridge too far, and then we can do our coups in Central America. Try to set up a realign. We're gonna want to take mid east. We're at least surviving to turn nine. When did they ditch grain stuff? Okay. Grain, grain and voice are gone without Star Wars. So that's a shame. Plus they have the China card. So we, we need another path to victory, I think. Yeah, DEFCON's going to be unlikely, but, well, they can space two out cards, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'd have to get Yasuri to get China card back, and then hope that they get all the bad cards. Yeah, so... It's not impossible, but certainly I wouldn't pin our hopes on it. So assuming no threats, we can just get rid of OPEC, which comes with the, the requirement of placing one into Venezuela and then doing something else. We can get our mill ups out of the way, or we can space Muslim Revolution. Um, so we may want to hold off on Muslims in case they play AWAC. Okay, yeah. So I think just you know we get we get OPEC. All those cards are free op cards, but I think we want to. Um, if we're thinking about long shots, maybe we want to. Maybe we could get into war games territory of midi scores. So, so uh, rather than long shots, I mean, we're ahead on the the overall map at the moment. Even, Are we even their, yeah, 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 given their three points. Well, Europe's about to turn their way. Well, okay, still. Yeah, so, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, we we gotta give, give them five for Central, South, and Europe. That's fifteen. Um, but you get 11 back for Mideast at the moment, and you get, what's, um, Asia's what, worth at least nine. What is Asia? Can you check the scorings, Michael? This is nine, I think. Yeah. Nine, and Mideast is what, 11? Nine. Nine, okay. So 18 to 15, and we get one for Africa, they get one for China. So it's just about dead even. So what is Central America? Central America is what, minus five? Five. South America's minus five? Yep. All right, so do we want to let them back into Syria? No. <laughs> no, we spend two, but they'll spend two to break it. Well, they'll spend one to break it, right? I like get two, and then we just pick one back in. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we make them work the whole way through. All right, so... Um, what else are we going to do? I guess we could do coups. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not worth it to fight in there. So we spend two, then they spend two influence to put, they spend two ops to put one influence in. And then what are we going to do? Spend one to take it back? You spend one to take yeah, it back. Yeah, but then they, then they spend three to flip Lebanon? Hmm. All right, maybe it's not worth it. So, All they're, right, spending, so. they're spending five, we're spending three? All right. But, yeah, I think yeah. we should go to mile then. Yeah, I think that's well, fine. I, I don't, I'm not sure keeping them out is going to work. I mean, if we can turn Central America around, that that wins us the game. Yeah, flip, didn't flip it, but got our mill no. ops. Next turn, if they don't place there, we can place one there and break with OPEC. So, so my my calculation says that we are plus one if the game ended right now and all the region scored. Well, never mind. All right, now we're not. All right, now so we're, think, now we're minus four. I think we OPEC and, and break and place with Guatemala. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and if they uh, if they don't 
if they coup Guatemala, we can flip Venezuela. And mm-hmm. if they don't, we do the realign. Yep. Perfect. And that puts us uh, back in good territory if we can take out Mexico. Yeah. If or we if we have Venezuela, either get, one. If we get Mid East scored, we're, we're pretty good. We're going to finish out control there sometime when we get a break. Yeah, we'll get to Israel. As soon as he goes to Syria, we'll take Israel. We I definitely. He... Uh, uh, not... That's just what he needed. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a bad. Glimmer of hope has uh, disappeared. So we've got seven ops this turn. We need we need four in Israel and Libya. We've you can't do it in one card, so I I'd put something in there now. Yeah, I don't know that there's anything that we've got to really press them on right now, and we definitely want to get that done before the end of the turn. So it's up to 10. Um, it'll actually be worse. Once it takes present. Yeah. Take, yeah. So Syria is worth more than Libya at this point, right? Same. They're, they're worth the same. same because one, they're both worth, Syria's worth three and Libya's worth two for control and one for the battleground. So they're yeah. both worth three. And we should be up on battlegrounds for a kitchen if it comes back. I cannot. I can't believe this turned around. This is one. Of, this is like one of those games where I don't even really know how it happened. Like we didn't. Like they had the ops, and like I, I don't remember the event that really made it crazy. Well, I don't either. We just grind. Just grinding away. Yeah. So we space Muslim next turn, assuming they don't play that. Uh, it, it works. Yeah. And then we, we save North Sea Oil and see what we do with it here. Um, I think that makes sense. We could even break in Europe. Yeah. I mean, Europe just scored, though. It is, well, but... We're playing for final scoring. Simon, go to bed. Come here. So, so Ortega's gone, right? Ortega is, Ortega is gone. So we, we could break, break in Cuba. Too. Also, Southeast Asia has not scored yet. And well, there's some. We did. I thought he scored it, didn't he? No, we tossed it on Omit. No, he did. You're good. You had you had the cover on this. You have to yeah. look under the removed. Yeah, check. Sorry, my, my son just came in. Um. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Southeast Asia Asia scored, right, Michael? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So they play. They play Cameroon. Um, Oh boy. Um, well, I still think we probably want a space muzzle. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I don't like it, but I think that's. I mean, unless he unless he plays AWACS on the seventh action round. Our time's doing all right now. We're doing a little better. We got ten minutes of turn for the next two. So yeah, that's that's good enough. All right, so they go to space there, and um, so I, you know, I like what, what, is, what is not scored yet. Central America. Like, Central America is it? And uh, Middle, and Middle East. East. And Middle East. So you can, mean, break, you can break presence in Syria. I think what's can... I think just breaking Italy, like final scoring, that's ten points. It flips. Oh, that's yes. good. I think that's right. That's good. Do we do we want to jam more than one in there? Is there another like another non battleground or somewhere that that op would help us? I, I don't think so. I no, think we just jam, jam them both. Uh, oh, Central America. We do have UN. We do have Star Wars. So what's in the discard that we can get? ABM. ABM Red Scare. Red Scare. Rush War. Punta. Green sales. sales, voice. There's a lot of good stuff. It's good stuff, yeah. I think it's got to be Star Wars as the headline, but I'm not sure which one of those we take. I guess we get to see what he's going to do. 
But, You've uh, got UN for lone gunman, and unless he plays Ames, in which case you may want to you may want to draw defectors with Star Wars. If he plays uh, Ames, no, I guess we can't pull UN back on the headline. Yeah, I, I'm almost. Well, I guess if, we can see. If he plays uh, Ames, then we we have to hold Star Wars. We can't headline it. Well, we get to see his headline. That's great. So he headlines the reformer, which is not what we want to see. No, not with Italy. That takes care of Italy. So you could do ABM now, though, and get Italy first. No, because Star Wars is second. Oh, you're right. You're right. Uh, that's a bad one. Well, we're just back to where we were on it on Europe. So I think it's, it's still Star Wars and... It's grain sales, right? I think grain sales. We want the coup. We want to protect our, our position in, in the Mideast. And hope we get lucky in Mexico on the coup. Or Junta. You think Junta over grain sales? Good question. Junta's going to give us a better shot at Mexico than grain cells. Are we, are we hoping to, to somehow force him into DEFCON? So he could have KAL five-year plan. Those are the only DEFCON and, cards. And, He's always going to be able to space. Duck, right? Duck's also still out there. Okay, and Duck. Yeah. No, it's not very good chances, and he can space two, two off cards. So. And he's holding the China card. Right. So we're not going to DEFCON him. So they're they're putting us in a serious pickle if we coup in Europe, but I guess we got to do it. Yeah, he can't take both of them. So grain sales. I think junta. Junta, and then place in Mexico and coup. Yeah. Yep. You're going to need a decent roll. It's worth a lot of VP. That's a lot of VP if you can. Goes from minus five to zero. Nope. No. A heroic effort. He could lay down great uh, war games if he has it right now. Yeah. So they can they can take Mexico and France. To which I think we have to just we can't even score. We have to take West Germany. So it's going to be UN with the gun. Probably Alliance for Progress for the event, even if it's only two. I don't know. We'll see about that. Yeah, our insurance might be worth more depending on what we can do. We can yeah. Get. If I, I, nobody has mill ops, so we might be able to get arms scored for the event. Pershing's going to space, right? I think so. Pershing's to space. Yuri's probably going to have to be near the end of the turn. And if, so, if we make the Pershing roll, we get 3 BP. So yes, we, might do, we might want to do alliance for the ops do a coup somewhere and then you can get arms scored. Yeah, I think we should just coup Guatemala and then either use arms race or if we succeed, maybe realign with arms race. If they don't coup back and get it. Yeah, if, if, if we're in Guatemala and we get a realignment shot, I think we take it. But we're going to get wiped out in Africa. If he gets uh, one free turn. And our hand's not the greatest. Yeah, we're going to be seriously down after 
Central America scores. I, I think our only hope is Mideast scoring. All right, so we still didn't have enough to take both France and Germany. I mean, do we want to try Guatemala or do we want to just coup Haiti and try to compete on country count? Well, Haiti's not enough. You need to have another successful. Oh, yeah. I thought it was 3-3, three, three. yeah. It's 3-4. Um, yeah, so we got to <laughs> coup with that. Should we If we kill with arm or alliance, alliance is guaranteed two. Arms race is only three if they don't coup with a three ops or higher. Yeah, but we, we need the ops too, so it's not that terrible if we play for, for ops instead of for the event. All right, so alliance first. Coup I think Guatemala. alliance coup Guatemala is, is kind of a long shot, but. I was getting good. <laughs> and keep the pressure on him. We can the like, UN gunmen coup it back. Yeah, guns a coup, summits a coup, Yuri's a coup. I think at this point we're cooing all of his non battlegrounds trying to set up realignments or trying to protect ourselves from realignments. I mean we've got to get one of France or West Germany. I guess I guess West Germany. No whammy. Oh boy. Well, now a coup of Haiti will break uh, domination. That's only 2 VP. Do you want to score arms for the event right now? Then you're not going to fight in Europe at all. No, well, we'll get one of them. We're not going to get both of them. Anyway. Well, what are you, you going to get one of them with? If you're you're play. <laughs> That's true. You're in Samantha in West Germany. No. I think... I think we need the ops. I mean, it's, ah, it's three VP though. Well, you could go. You could go arms to West Germany, one to Guatemala. Keep the pressure on. Yeah, that's better. All right. Because we're gonna need. We need one country in Europe. I hope he's got a card that uh, forces him to take a, a break here. Yeah, like Mideast. Like Mideast. Yeah, but that's not true yet. Another one. Well, he's not rolling well either. So should we coup Haiti or should we realign Mexico? I'd coup Haiti, Haiti with Summit. I think we ought to get rid of Gunman immediately. Yeah, I think you and Gun first. You and Gun? Okay. Yeah. Like, just in, in the account, like there's he's holding terrorism or something. Exactly. By the way, I'm not tracking cards anymore. That's all right. <laughs> Lost track. I I've never made it through the whole through the late war. Like once the middle war's done, I'm like ah. Yeah, there's not you don't get much uh, advantage anyway. Yeah, the big advantage is like. I generally don't forget about like huge cards that are going to matter. It's like the small ones, and the big advantage is like when you know their whole hand, which never happens uh, in the late war, or rarely, I guess. All right, so we have two more plays, so three ops total, a space, and a scoring. Um, so, I mean, ideally, we put one into Guatemala, and we realign Mexico, and then we score it, but I don't know that we'll have that opportunity. Yeah, I you, have, I'm, you have to space also. So yeah, so I think right. I think you just go ahead and dump Central America if we can get it done without a domination. I think he's going to play Guatemala and we might coup it with Summit. Yeah, well, I mean that's worth it. I mean, I mean it's obvious. Which I guess is not obvious, but that we have Central America, but it is one like the only like there's no fight in the Middle East, and it's the only unscored region that there's a fight in. So we could just be fighting. Um, to fight, but I don't know if they're going to let us get away with just dumping it. I mean, it's just one off. All 
maybe they're thinking about realigning Africa though before we look at Cameroon. Africa is going to turn around, unfortunately. I don't see a way out of it unless we, I mean, unless we can flip Botswana at some point. But South Africa is falling. We don't even have adjacency, so. Yeah, everything they've got is just hugely overprotected. So it's going to be difficult. So right now, the total is 9, 19, 19, 13. Assuming they get France even, then that's um, 12. I'm going to assume Africa falls, so we're going to be at 8. I've got them as eight, minus 4 right now. 8 and 3. Get down to 3. Oh, we need, I mean, we need I, have score. Us, I have us as even on the board right now, and eight down plus China card down. Um, yeah, that's what that's what I had too. Uh, MIDI scoring would would win it for us. We're gonna we're gonna lose Africa before the end of the game here. Yeah, I, I guess I'm counting Africa as being dominated as when it's even on the board. Um, but I mean, we are gonna we are gonna get the last AR, so we could make. I mean. I don't know. Everything's so locked up. I don't. I don't know if they're going to have a lot of trouble over protecting some of the key things. Is your Surrey out of the deck? I don't think. I mean, they faced it at some point. I don't know if it's still down there. I'm just yeah, wondering. it's in the graveyard. Yeah, so we're not getting China back till turn ten. We're not getting it back. We're not getting Voice of America. We're not getting Star Wars. We're not getting Star Wars. Yeah, I think Wars. the uh, the the Junta attack on Mexico was our last big shot here. But we'll see. I don't think we're out of it, but I mean, well, that's a point. Mm. Oh, we have to cover that. Yeah, we can we can play here in Dominican Republic with Yuri and Samantha. Yes. yes. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean that that screws up a summit coup, but yeah, but that's, one less, that's one less turn that they've got to realign us in Africa. He can push again in Panama, and we're in trouble if he does. Yeah, that's what so far, he hasn't had a single weak card. So there's 31 cards left in the deck. And that's a pretty good chance Middle East is going to score. Ah, so close. Um... You give up a point just to try it, though. I think you got to dump Central America. I mean, we we still have to dump it. We've got to space another card, and we've got one up left. Yeah, I agree. It's, we have one know, up left. Uh, like we still gotta. But the thing is, if, if we just go Dominican Republic, we make them waste another turn doing something. Well, that's true. Like maybe they have to space, or maybe they have to score. I mean, what else are we going to do? One. Well, you could try to save uh, Nigeria again, but. But it, yeah, yeah, it's like one. You could, could break in some Panama. But but I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Push him and see. If you, see definitely going to know we have Central America scoring. Probably figured it out a couple of ARs ago. Yeah, I mean, this late in the game, though, like, we could just be playing, assuming they could very well have it, and it's the only contested region out there that's, like, time-dependent. But, they, I mean, I'm sure they can guess something's up.
We're going to have plenty of time for the last turn, so that's good. You're taking your time thinking about this one. I think we pushed That's a good sign. We pushed them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe they have like a huge card and they're going to make us regret not scoring Central America, but I mean, you, you're basically forcing them to respond with just a summit, which rarely happens. So, yeah, and it's not like we have some other great thing to do with it. So, And yeah, they could be in some sort of trouble because they probably don't want to play China this turn. Well, they could be holding five-year plan, thinking they're going to hold it from mid-east. Mm. Oh, they're playing for China. Well, I guess we play Central America before it gets worse. Oh, we sure do. <laughs> so we lost a VP with all that. Yeah, but we got the China card, so maybe not the worst. But the, the yeah, last, I think that's good. I think I think our hopes in turn ten depend on having China. So yeah, but the bad problem is Panama is going to be theirs. I think I think we just eat perishing and play one West Germany to Panama, and like what else do we? But but then they still have a they still have another play then. Yeah, but they're out of they're out of gas. They played the China card this time. Yeah, I think I think we got to fight for Panama, and I think we got to play perishing. Um, what is that? That's one plus the the opportunity for the space is call it one and a half. So that's you're giving up two and a half VP by doing that. Yeah, but we're giving them control and final scoring. You're getting one right back immediately when you score it, and then you're saving yourself in final. So I don't know. I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm almost thinking like three into Panama, and just. No, I um, think we want to have one in West Germany. Okay. I mean, I, I, well, I mean, they're not going to be, they're definitely not going to be able to take France. West Germany is going to take seven to flip. They're going to take 10 ops to take both of them. Right, right. And I think they, I don't think they've got a lot playing China this turn. Still, I mean, do you really need to overprotect it? They're going right. to, they're going to have domination in Central America. In fact, they could have five-year plan in Mideast right now. Well, they might miss it. Oh, you're right. They just played China, so they wouldn't have that. Yeah, so they definitely don't have that combo. Come on, Middle East. All right. I mean, we, we had to play Perishing, but playing some... Yes, Middle East and War Games. Oh, we can't War Games in now. <laughs> no, we're, we're pretty so far from War Games. I was like, so many VP. We got, we got to be able to make that work. Um, they have Aldridge, too. Um, Five-year plan would be my choice here. Hang on a second. Let's figure out what the score is. So Europe is minus six, I think. Mid-East is plus nine. We're going to get to see with the, the headline. Plus ten. Mid-East is plus ten. Africa plus one right now. Central America minus five, minus five, plus one. So 19, 20, 21, minus 18. I've got the score as minus eight right now, and that's with Africa, Africa scoring plus one. Minus eight. Minus eight, but that's before we score mid east. So, so after get ten, then. it'll be plus two, but we'll have to hold in Africa. Either that or play something in the last day. Like like a break in Mexico or Cuba would take away domination there. Um, yeah, Aldrich is our AR seven card, I think. Yeah. So space is one. I mean. 
So I don't, I don't know. We can yeah. we can hold. You can hold. You can hold two, and then one will be discarded by Aldrich. If you play the China card. Yes. So. But I feel like we play Iran Contra on AR six, and then show them. Oh, is it Allende and decolonization? Yeah. But but Allende doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, right, he's already got. You could play Allende and, and show them Iran. Oh, you mean holding China for the last turn? No, no. no. Well, oh yeah, yeah. We, we could just show them all three of them, and then play China. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd only play China if it's going to make the difference someplace. Otherwise, it's two points you're giving up. But it's four yeah. ops. Yes. Yeah. So four ops versus one op with a with a yende. So that that's pretty comparable depending on what we can do with the four ops. Right. The board is fairly locked up. I mean, with things like multiple uh, overprotection, it's going to be tough. Yeah, I think we just need to be flexible on it right now. We have to come up with a headline first. I, I think five-year plan. I think five Middle East. Five-year plan, or would you do Middle gonna, East? They're going to, unless they show something that disrupts the scoring, they're going to coup into Middle East. Yeah, I think that's true. Right, but if he has Marine Barracks... We're going to see the headline. We don't even get, we don't even, oh, we get to see the headline. Okay, never mind. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, if they don't play a headline that interferes with Middle East, then we headline Middle East. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. All right. That well, sucks. I think we have to headline five year then because. You're going to have to repair damage in the Middle East to at least get domination. Yeah, we don't yes. stand a chance without getting mid east. Yeah, I mean it's got to be five year then, right? Because Middle East is not. That's right. Okay. That's right. Because because uh, you can just take Lebanon and uh, we don't have domination. Well, that's a useful. Okay. Card. Well, maybe that puts pressure on his hand. He doesn't have China anymore, and he had a hold card that was worse than duck. Either that or a hold card that was really good that he wanted to save for this turn. Mm, could be. If we had one that was really good, he probably would not have played China. Yeah, well, I mean, if it, I guess that he already played it, but something like Quagmire, like if they were to, that would be something you might hold just to play on the last AR. Right, right. No, no, we already played, he already played Quagmire. Yeah, if they didn't play it, yeah, I know. He's just using an example. Yeah. Oh. That, that might have even been it. Well, it's two VP. So let's see. Lebanon and uh, South Korea. Yeah, but you're gonna have to use a three op card, right? Yes. France. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's there's nowhere else to put an op. <laughs> it makes it, it matters at all. Honduras. Yeah, but yeah, we're I, gonna get in the coup. I, I probably probably I, France is better. I, I I do France. I'm thinking shuttle. Yep. Yeah. It's too bad we couldn't just play shuttle because they have it on battleground to lock them out of presence. Syria, so but only save one VP. Yeah, it's not. Only six for the Middle East. Now that's huge. All right, so I think we score Middle East, nothing better to do. And then we start attacking mm -hmm. Guatemala. Okay. 
Yeah, we're we're getting close to desperation time, I think. So it's five. Right now, and I have them at seven. And then I have a 15 here, so that's eight. Yeah, 15, eight, two, minus 12. I've got them at minus five. I have the board as it is, as minus three with their five already, so it's minus eight. Right, because it's it's nine and six is fifteen. How much minus, Europe, Europe seven? Yeah. Minus seven is eight. Oh, I forgot the one. So that puts them at seven. Uh, uh, no, nine, sorry. Minus five is four. Minus five is minus one. So that's six for them total. You count China? Hard for us is five. Yeah, so it's right now it's minus five for them, but we're probably gonna play China. But even if we don't play China, we, we need to figure out how we're going to get five VPs. So okay. you, you, you do have a shot at the space track for you know, if we want to space uh, Aldridge or something for three, three VP if we make it. Okay, realignments. Yeah. Realignments. Yep. I mean, if we hit Guatemala and flip Mexico, then that's one, two, three, four. And then we flip domination. That, that would do it right there. And yes. then we have to worry about Africa. We have to flip domination essential without losing Africa. That's going to be challenging. So when I coup Guatemala, the question is how big should I? I mean, I guess it's only three or four, but I guess the three up, I mean, I really want a coup big enough that we just keep it. Okay, well then that's gonna be a three hop then. You want to save the four? Yeah. Yeah. the The only other alternative is try to just uh, brute force him somewhere. Hope he doesn't have hops. Yeah, we're gonna get killed here. Well, the problem is Brazil, if they hit that. Like, if they hit Brazil, Venezuela. So we're gonna the sequence that I'm guessing is gonna be Evil Empire, War Games, Alder Games, and then China. Most likely. I mean, I don't see a way to get around playing China here. I think we're gonna need desperation realigns. Uh. We need to step back into Algeria before we try Guatemala. With one in Tunisia to help protect it. We still lose domination in Africa. We expected that. He's got domination right now. Yeah, but he's got to... If we play Algeria, he's got to play South Africa. So that's three ops that they're committed to. Um, Three, it takes us three to protect it too. 
Yeah, but if we don't go back in Nigeria, one lucky, lucky real line in Nigeria, and we're no no presence. Not, like, you know, we can create a presence, but we're it's controlled. I think we got to play into Algeria and Tunisia. All right, so that's a three off. Well, 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 we're gonna have to do a coup at some point, right? We need millions. Yeah. So, so, so uh, I mean, you may want to just play the four up now and do something else with it because I don't really see anything great with three. But what are you, where are you going to go with four? Uh, go to Mexico. No, go to Cuba. Oh, I see. Take all of it. Okay. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm. I, I'm just saying, if you don't, if you use three now, you're going to be using the four for your for your coup, right? And maybe we, maybe we want to use the four for the coup, and then you go China with desperation realigns. Maybe that's the better play. I'm not sure, but I, I I'm just saying we're going to have to do a coup later this turn. I think I think we're going to coup Guatemala, and hope we get a good roll, and hope we flip Central America around. All right. So use a three for the coup and use a four now. Or yeah, I, maybe. I, I'm I not think sure. I think the coup right now. I mean, like. If we fight them in Central America, they're not going to have time to go to go Algeria, South Africa, and realign and take Nigeria. Okay, so evil empire straight to Guatemala. I'm fine with that. Okay. I mean, we're we're at desperation time here. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. They won't have any trouble taking that back. And they want their mill ops too, though. So, yeah. So, how are we going to set up our desperation realigns here for, for AR7? So, I guess we got Aldrich still for ops too. So, the sequence is going to be War Games, then Aldrich. That hurts. All right. So, we got a War Games. Um... So you can what about get... just plowing war games into Mexico, making it a six five. I like that because if we coup successfully, then we have to survive their counter coup, and then we have to realign. Yeah, we're we're ten VP down in final right now. It's going to be twelve when we play the China card. So, so if we flip Central America, then that's almost ten there. That's We'll That's get two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's going from minus five to them to three. So it's eight. So we're there's four more we have to make up. And we can make up four with just a four op break if they don't have a lot of ops to overprotect. Possibly. Yeah, so I'm fine. If you want to go war games to, to Mexico. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're flooded with ops here. We're not giving them any breathing room to just... Right. Take care, like, overprotect things or take extra battlegrounds, like... Well, he's, he's played two fours already. Mm hmm I have to hope uh, his last cards are weak. So, I mean, we can even theoretically get Algeria back if they don't have time to take South Africa and fight that to a draw. If we I, I think we have to. Because if they don't have enough to take Mexico here, then we can just take Mexico. Well, they, just need a, they just need a three, which they probably have. Yeah, so I think I think if they take a three with Mexico, then we go. We play the China card immediately. We play two in Algeria and one into Mexico. Why not Aldrich? Well, Aldrich, they're going to know what our plan is for the last turn. They're going to know it's not a strong event. 
And if we play... You can do more with a four-up than a three-up there on the last round. Yeah, but if we... So if we... You could even do something like break Syria, break break Egypt on the last turn. That'd be worth four VP. So right now, it's five. We'll get... We'll make it six. We'll just say they're going to get the China card. If they get the China card, Mm -hmm. it's minus 12. Chernobyl, that's interesting. So, so can we use that? Africa. I think Africa. Oh, yeah, but they, can, they can't they go can into Algeria or South Africa then. Well, they can realign us. They, they won't. But not. They, they're, they're, both of them are empty. Yeah, but we, we need to get one back to, to bring Africa. Oh, back I see. Even. I see. We can take that on the last round, though. Then we don't have anything, to, any surprises on the last round, but maybe you're right. True. Maybe we just take it on the last. Yeah, now we have three plays left, so it's going to be China, Aldridge, and what else? No. Do we have three plays left? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be... It's going to be Iran-Contra scandal, right? Right, which after that, I mean, if we don't do that AR-7, then they're going to have a bonus on realignment. Yeah, they'll have some great realignments on uh, Nigeria if they want it. Yes. We just... So, all right, so the, so the options are Africa or Central America, right? I think that's the only two that really matter here. Wait, wait. What about Middle East and we could use China to break Egypt and Syria? What would that do? That's four VPs. But, that's just four? Yeah, that's just four. I mean, you could, you could try to flip Egypt, but that would also be four, right? Yeah, so that's just four VPs. So, and if, but if we flip it, then it's control plus six. But they still have presence. Well, if we if it's gonna be seven, it's gonna be seven IP to to get control with no presence for them. So it's four, five. It's seven ops to flip both. Right. Is that enough? Or to break one and to flip the other, and seven ops for seven VP. Yeah, we're down 12 VP. I, I don't think we do Middle East. Yeah. Right. I mean, what about Central? You got you got Mexico down there where it's not overprotected. Yeah, and Cuba's just, not overprotected. You just break. Yeah, breaking both is worth, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, just for breaking both of them? We go from minus five to plus three. Yeah, that's eight for breaking both. That looks pretty good. And that's only four IP. Yeah. So that's better than Mid East. Better than Mid East is it better than Africa? Because Africa. Now they do have. Yeah, Africa. they do have realigned choices in uh, right there though. Yeah. Africa's worth. Africa's just worth four if I we can get it right. to even. I think that's right. So I think Central America may be better. Okay. But then what's our, what's our follow-up? I think we take Algeria. This turn? And... No, I mean, what's our follow-up? What's our, what's our AR play, our next play? We can totally just leave breaking Central America. So if we break both, they can always, the problem with Central America is they can always coup to get domination back. Like we, yeah, so we wouldn't get domination. We're probably only going no, to they can't coup to get they can't coup to get domination back. They can coup to deny us domination. So that's right. six, six VP. So that's one for Central America. Then we're down five for South America. Puts us down four. Let's say we stay down four in Africa. Puts us at down eight. Seven in Europe puts us at down fifteen. Um. Five more from the VP already puts us at 20. China cards 21. And then six. And nine is 15. We need six more VP if we just break both and take Algeria. Is that assuming they dominate, continue to dominate um, Africa? It's assuming they take South Africa. So, yeah. That's six more VP. Uh, 
Um, well, on the final right now, they haven't protected South America. We could break domination in South America. No, because we don't have access to these. Uh, right. You could do. You could break Egypt and Syria for four. But we we need what? We're going to need six. We're going to need six. Yeah. So, Looks like we're shy. What if, what if we just said Africa and said that gets to zero, and then we just plowed China card into Mexico? Because they're playing Chernobyl. Like, what are they going to... sign a weakness. Yeah, that's a sign of weakness. Like, all we have to do with Africa at this point is have two ops to put in Algeria. Well, we can't let them realign Nigeria, but that's seven, seven influence there. So, if, you know, that's a big, yeah. a big ask for them. So if we got Africa to zero, Central America to zero, we're down to a minute 20. Five, nine, yeah, play. 15. Um, All right, so yeah, you my gotta, suggestion you gotta, is gotta uh, choose Africa, plow into Central America. Okay. Go. Let's ride time. So, Iran Contra scandal next? Yep. Hope they got nothing. Less than a minute. Yeah, and if, if we don't have anything else, then what, we try real lines in, in Venezuela? Right. If we, if we don't have a play that's good enough, we could realign Cuba. I think Cuba is better than Venezuela. I mean, Venezuela does, doesn't even stop domination if you get it. If we flip it, it does. Well, you know, if you flip yeah, it, that's, that's going to be tough to do at minus one. <laughs> that's a lot. Where with Cuba, you just got to break it. Yeah, but is Cuba going to be enough? Cuba's worth um, I don't know. Cuba's worth two. But I'd, start, I'd start there. <laughs> <laughs> So we said Africa. So no, we need to take Algeria, don't we? Yeah. So we do Iran Contra to Algeria, and then we save Aldrich for the last turn and see what we can break. Yeah, they're just going to realign us, though. So. Right? <clears throat> oh, boy. Yeah, this is bad. I think we're already in desperation times. All I right, so we, we gotta. I think we use Iran Contra scandal, realign Mexico and Panama. Let's go. Oh, we're out of time. Okay. Realign first. <laughs> All right. So I don't know what we got left. Just maybe take out Ames. and call it again. <laughs> We have Ames. Yeah. We could take Mexico if they don't, uh, well, they can, they're just going to take it back. Yeah. Or we could take Algeria. Yeah, Algeria is worth four. I mean, I think you keep the game close at this point. I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's a real line. You could try to realign Mexico and Panama again. I'm not sure. I guess you go real lines. Why not? Sure. Just got to do them fast. But yeah, so Mexico, Mexico, Panama, and, um, so if they do nothing, if they have to space, that puts us at even, down five, e so still on five, down seven is down 12, up six is down six, up nine is up three. Air trap. Yeah, just realign then. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, I don't think right, just think. Out. Where do we realign? Mexico, Panama? Mexico. Yeah, Mexico, and then Panama, Panama, and then Brazil, I guess. Got it. One more. Keep Got rolling. Him. Keep rolling. You got him. No, we failed. Uh, <laughs> not bad. I don't think it would have been enough. No. Six seconds left, though. <laughs> so, no time. Good job. Yeah, so 
let me just think here. If I would have not, if this would have been here, that would have been four. Yeah, so even if I would have hit an African battleground and got that to even, we would have gotten eight back and we would have still lost by three. There's no African battleground to get. I mean, I could have gone for Zaire and hope, I guess that would, I couldn't even have enough, like a big enough roll would not have done it. Six to one. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's part of the problem is they have such huge encampments there. There's really no way to probe it out Africa at all. Yeah. All right, guys, how you doing? <laughs> well, I'm not sure that Chernobyl was the best use since we never did, did anything in Africa after all. Yeah, you guys had the whole audience yelling timer there for a second because you guys kept talking about it, but he got <laughs> the time done with six seconds. Uh, that was a really rough game there at the beginning. Um Man, they just seemed to get more of the luck there and played well, too, so. Yeah, it was, it felt like we were just losing the whole time. Um, I'm I'm really shocked that it turned around as much as it did, and mm -hmm. I don't know if we'd have had enough time. I don't, I don't think we would have been able to come up with a plan that brought us all the way back, but I feel like we were definitely scrambling at the end there because it's first try and we were not managing the time well. 